Well, hello, my name is Jim Royal. I'm a huge Beatles and Elvis Presley fan and basically plas <laughs> plastic, uh, basically classic rock in general. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. At the end of the video, if you do a thumbs up, that's always most appreciated. And feel free to leave comments. I always enjoy reading them and I do my best to try to respond in a timely manner. Today, what I wanted to do is I got something in the mail. Okay, got this from Target and I wanted to open it up and show it to you. Uh, this is the Beatles Get Back on DVD. Okay, uh, and what's special about this, or I want to find out, is I had gotten an earlier version of it uh, that leaked out in February and I wanted to find out if that is actually a legitimate release or if it's a pirate. Okay, maybe not from Apple or Disney, but from someone else, just to make a quick dollar. So, anyway, let me talk to you about this first. So, The Beatles Get Back is a project uh, that Peter Jackson uh, worked on with Apple and Disney. And what it was was the uh, basically the tapes uh, from the Let It Be Get Back sessions. Uh, showed the Beatles recording that album in January of 1969 and all the pressures and everything that they had to try to get things done just in that month. Ringo was going to be making movie candy uh, and they had to act quick. They had uh, just released the White Album and they didn't have a lot of new material. So this shows, you know, what they went through. Well, this aired, I was seven and a half hours that was aired on Disney Plus uh, over Thanksgiving holiday of 2021, over three days. Much like the anthology that came out 25 years ago, I think that was on network television here. Uh, and what it did is it gave people a, a nice insight, uh, maybe people who didn't know as much about, be about the Beatles. I know, for example, when my sister saw this, uh, casual fan, uh, she just says, oh, that was really interesting how they were able to develop the songs. And it was very good. Well, I didn't have Disney Plus, uh, the streaming service, and I wasn't planning on getting it just to watch this. I knew that it would come out on uh, DVD and Blu-ray eventually. Uh, I crossed my fingers that it would. Uh, and sure enough, they made an announcement <clears throat> uh, that it was going to be released in February. Initially, it came out February 8th, and there were a few copies that went, leaked out to retailers. Now, um, I had a friend of mine that got one uh, on DVD. He's normally a Blu-ray person. So um, he lent me the copy that he had, and later I actually bought it off of him because I wasn't sure when it would come out. But this one, then, uh, so what happened was there were production issues that were supposedly uh, had with these releases, uh, sound on some of the discs, I guess, and there was concerns about the packaging. So they pulled the plug on it, and then we had to wait till July 11th of 2022 before I had a new official release on Blu-ray and DVD. This is a uh, DVD, a Blu-ray copy that I got from Target. And you've probably already seen this, but basically it comes with four photographs inside here. And there's a nice outside packaging, which is really cool. Uh, slips out of it and then there is a nice booklet inside it opens up nicely done okay uh, so that is that we've all seen that but I haven't seen the DVD yet so my friend he had gotten this online and this is what he got I don't know is this authorized is this the real thing is this an earlier version of it maybe and later, you know, they changed it. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. So it looks good. Looks all official to me. It's got a UPC of 786-936-894-264. There's three discs in here. Part one, the band gathers at Twickenham Film Studios to rehearse for a concert. Uh, part two, which is disc two, rehearsals continue at Apple Studios and the mood lifts. And then finally, the third disc is part three, the Beatles perform on the roof of the Apple offices. All right, so let's open this up. And it's got a nice, well, it's got a little advertisement here. So, so far it looks official, right? 
got an official. Now this is talking about a uh, Beetle book. Get back that you can get that accompanies it. The film. And then on the back is another advertisement. This is for the Beatles Let It Be. Uh, the uh, anniversary edition came out, you know, how they have extended them and have different mixes and stuff of it. So that's another official thing. And that came out earlier in 2021. So uh, very smart for them to advertise for it. Now, the spindle is a little bit longer than most of them and what it does is it houses the three discs. Now one of the concerns I have now at least with disc three I've had trouble putting this in here and taking this one out it seems like the other ones are fine so maybe there was a production problem with the packaging but anyway this is part three this is part one And then this is part two. Okay. And as you can see here, if you can, the spindle is just a little bit longer than most of them in order to get the three discs in here. All right. So the UPC on this one is 786 936 eight nine four two six four like I said my friend ordered this in February um, he got it and then you know we found out that you know they pulled the plug on it <clears throat> and had to wait and I wasn't sure how long we had to wait so this is the package that I got from Target and we're gonna open it right now and we're gonna see if this is the same exact thing, okay? Oh wow, look at this. Does it include the book? Let's see what we got. <laughs> this is the first time I'm looking at this, folks. look at this so this is it right here okay <clears throat> looks so far the same so far the same there there is a little difference which I'll tell you in a moment it's got exactly the same look it's got the same logos on there the Apple logo um, got everything else the same except it says contains tobacco depictions because they're smoking <laughs> just like Disney right this one doesn't have it it does have a content advisory so that's one thing that's different um, pretty much everything else looks the same except the UPC number is different I found that interesting. So the UPC on this one is 786-936-894-608. Hmm. So that it is off a little different. So that is it. But anyway, so there's nothing real special about this. Looks identical to it. And I think that getting the special Blu-ray is probably the way to go if you want to get all of the nice pictures and everything else okay so anyway that was my video thank you very much and you have a great day thanks for watching